Welcome to Foam Week TV, sponsored by American Weather Star. I'm Heather Westrell, and here's what's happening this week on Foam Week. The Northeast is still reeling in the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy, which contributed to widespread power outages, damaged infrastructure, destroyed homes, and a loss of life that stands at 113, according to numerous sources as of airing. Despite the destruction, residents affected by the storm have been admirably quick in beginning the rebuilding process. A significant portion of the damage resulted from the coastal storm surge and inland floodwaters that inundated buildings in the affected regions. Notably, there has been an increase in the demand for spray foam insulation from affected homeowners and building owners who've cleared out blown insulation or bat insulation that had been saturated and therefore compromised. The shift towards spray foam stems from FEMA having rated closed cell polyurethane foam as the only acceptable flood water resistant insulation. Furthermore, closed cell foam can significantly increase the structural strength of the buildings in which it's applied. While many regional spray foam contractors are ready to meet the spike in demand, many have reported that it may take some time to be able to service certain areas. Even still, homeowners and building owners looking to replace saturated insulation with spray foam are encouraged to visit the contractor directory listings on sprayfoam.com to find service providers in their area. For full details on the spray foam industry's involvement in the post-Sandy situation, read the article on sprayfoam.com. I'm Heather Westrell, and that's what's happening on Foam Week. American Weather Star roofing systems are energy efficient with reflective white surfaces known as cool roofing that lower building temperatures, reduce energy costs, and also seal roofs and walls. For more information about American Weather Star and their authorized independent dealers, visit AmericanWeatherStar.com.